<laughs> hey guys, um, I'm going to talk about something that I'm sure, well, that that I that maybe hits home to a couple of, several of my viewers, um, and it's about dealing with being overweight in everyday life and struggles that you go through with yourself, with other people, with um, your environment. And I, I've been, I mean, all my life I've struggled with my weight. I, I've been teased for it by family, by friends, by um, anybody, just people, people I don't even know um, have said things about it to me. And I know how hurtful it can be. Um, but... And I know in, in my head anyway, and I'm sure in other people's, when someone says, oh, you're fat or something, fat ends up equaling all these other terrible things, like you're mean and sloppy and lazy and ugly and all these other horrible things that you're not. And you may even be in denial about your weight because you see, you know, being overweight as being all these other negative things. So you're like, oh, you know, I'm not overweight. I'm fine. I'm perfect. I'm regular. I'm just like everybody else. But... Being overweight can have health concerns. Being overweight can, you know, lead to diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all these other things. But it doesn't mean you're a bad person. Smoking can also lead to heart disease, lung cancer. Um, alcoholism can lead to lots of other bad things. Like, it's not like people don't do, it's not like people don't do horrible things every day. There are things that are hurting their bodies every day, so let's, I, I hate it when people make it seem like, oh, well, being fat is horrible, but I, dr I binge drink occasionally, that's okay, I mean, they're both not good, and they're not good for your body, and it's not healthy for you, but I think what I want to stress with, it's fine to be who you are, and be your body weight and be what's comfortable with you. You shouldn't try and kill yourself to be thin or kill yourself to be this, you know, ideal of beauty. But I think it is important for you to take care of yourself. I don't think it's okay for anybody to just sit in their house and, you know, eat all day. And there have been times in my life where I have been so upset and not wanting to go outside and even look at people, even have people look at me. I, have any, I remember my mom wanted me to go to the mall with her, and I remember crying and begging her to not make me go because I didn't want to fat thought people were going to stare at me and be mean to me and look at me because that's what I experienced in school <clears throat> with boys, with other girls, just people making fun of me for being overweight. And <clears throat> I mean, now that I'm older, I've become more confident with myself, but... I mean, just this past summer, I gained a little weight, and I feel a little more self-conscious now. And I still harbor those old feelings toward weight, like, that it equals these other horrible things about me, and I'm not a bad person. And nobody is, you're not a bad person for being overweight. So those people who are sitting around telling you these mean things about yourself and saying that you're a horrible person does not mean that you are. You're fine. You just like to eat more than the other people. And I don't think it's healthy to be severely overweight, but if you're being active and you're enjoying your life, then that's all that matters to me anyway. If you're happy and you're enjoying your life and you're happy with who you are, then that's what counts. That's what matters. And not, oh, I need to lose weight to be, so I can have a boyfriend and then I'll be happy. But, you know what, I need to lose weight so I'll feel better about myself. So I can run up these stairs. So I can, you know, do whatever I want to do. And nothing will be holding me back. And if you feel like your weight holds you back, then that might be something for you to consider losing weight. And, and it doesn't have to be some gimmick diet or, you know, just... Get more active. I noticed something with me, like, I'm just not a very, I'm not super active person because I'm so busy all the time. I don't have time to, you know, go to the gym and go, you know, 
do all this stuff, but in my head I turn exercising into a chore, when it could just simply be, oh, you know, let's go, I'm going to go outside with my friends and we'll go walk around the park, um, instead of sitting in the coffee shop, you know, or, you know, sitting down for dinner, we could walk around the park and do something fun. It's those little things about being out in the sun and, you know, just being with your friends and being social with people, it'll help you feel better about yourself. Even if you don't end up losing a ton of weight, you might just feel better on the inside. And that's what's really important. I know it's hard when you're in middle school and when you're in high school and, you know, you want people to like you and you want to fit in and you want to be accepted. And those people, them saying things about you and making comments about your weight, it's about them and the way they feel about themselves. And I know everybody says this, but it really is true. If you walk up to a group of people, and I know this girl and in my uh, grade, and she will talk about anybody and everybody to deflect attention away from her, but as soon as someone says something mean about her, she cries. She is attitude, I don't like you, da 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 but as soon as someone says something mean about her, she's crying. And that goes to show you that when people say mean things about you, it just proves their insecurity. That's it. It's it's not that they're stronger than you or that they're prettier than you or anything. It's just they're trying to deflect attention away from them onto you. So instead of people looking at their flaws, they're looking at your flaws. And, you know, situations I've had in middle school and stuff, and in high school feeling insecure and walking through the halls and not wanting people to look at me and just being afraid of lots of things, it helps if you take care of yourself, meaning do your hair. You don't have to wear makeup, but, you know, wear, you know wearing a little makeup or, you know, making sure that your face is clean and you've brushed your teeth that morning and you've got on a flattering outfit. I'm not saying go out and buy Chanel or something fabulous. It doesn't have to be that, but excuse me, finding a pair of jeans that fit you or um, I don't know, wearing a cute pair of shoes. And that's the one good thing. Shoes, jewelry, and accessories always fit. And they're cheap. So even if you're the kind of person you have one good pair, one pair of jeans you can find that fit you, buy a couple pairs and wear them every day if you have to. But you don't have to let your weight hold you back in every aspect of your life. Because that's not fair to you. And I just, I wouldn't want anybody else to go through the same things and the same feelings that I had in middle school and high school. Just feeling inadequate and feeling like I was out of place and feeling like no boys would ever like me. You don't have to shelter yourself from the world because everybody isn't out there trying to hurt you. And I want to make that clear. Um, and if any of you guys ever want to talk to me about it or, you know, email me about it or message me on uh, YouTube about it, feel free to because I like talking about it and I'd like to help anybody in any way that I could um, with self-esteem and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little different than my fashion videos, but I thought it was important to say. So, thanks for watching, guys, and bye.